Hello everyone, and welcome to Joe and Zach's Survival. I'm after the tent for a couple days now, and uh, I'm getting deer stands ready, stuff like that. Um, didn't make any videos on that, I have videos on that from last year, and I haven't really changed any stand locations this year or anything like that. But what I did do that I wanted to video is uh, yesterday I went out and I set three crayfish traps up here, and I wanted to continue the up north cray fishing and this is also very late season we're in the ending part of uh, October and uh, so the water is getting pretty chilly but I decided to put three traps out I used a uh, chicken as the bait this time and we're gonna go check them here and I thought I'd take you guys along and we'll see how we did we'll see if our count still rises so these traps are set uh, three four miles from the tent two different locations this time. One is close to a location we did last time when we did cray fishing in the north. Uh, for those of you that have never watched any of the cray fishing videos, you can go to the channel main page and there's a bunch of them. And, and up here we're uh, way up northern Minnesota, fairly close to Canada. So the first time it was interesting to find that we could actually catch them up here. And now it's going to be interesting to see if we can catch them this late in the season. Okay, so one of the traps I have set just above these rapids right up over there, but I'm gonna drive down to the other one, which is maybe a mile up the road further. We'll pull those two first, and then this is the location where I caught them before, so I wanna check the other one out first. Okay, so this is the first place here. This is a river. Of course, everybody's been short on rain this year, so nothing is really flowing real hard here. But um, in the spring, it's, it really goes. But here's where I set my trap. And I've never done it here before, so let's see if we got anything. Oh, we did get a couple. I got one over there. One here. Oh, and we got three over. So one, two, three, four, five. And that is a big old leech right there, I think. All right, I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to keep these this time. So I'm going to get them in the bucket and we'll see exactly what we have here. Okay, so we did get five there, but the interesting thing is last time I was up here, all I got were like that real dark one. We have two different species here. We have a lighter one and we have darker ones. So we'll have to look at those a little bit closer later, but let's go see how we did on the other traps. Okay, so this next trap I set right off that rocks, right those two rocks right there. This isn't, isn't even quite 100 yards down from the other trap. The other trap was on the other side of that brush, but this one is real rocky right there, so I thought we'd give that a try. Okay, let's see. Three. Boy, I think we got about 10 or so on this one. I'll pull them out and count them. Okay, so that one actually had 12 in it, so now we're up to 17, and that one too had two different species in there. So let's run back down the road a mile, and uh, we'll check that one last trap. Okay, everyone, so here we are at the last trap. It's just starting to get dark out now, so I got my trap set right over there. Looks like this one only gave us one. And now that was right by these rocks here. Before, last time when I was up here and did crayfish in the north, I put it up right over there, maybe 50 feet from here, and I got nine or 10 in there. So I think I'll move this trap up. I'll pull this one out and I'll move the trap up there. Okay, we'll come back and pull these tomorrow before I go home and we'll see how we did. Okay, everyone, well, we're back. It's about 24 hours later. I'm going to pull the traps this time because I'm heading home tomorrow. Uh, last night you saw I cooked those up, um, ate them. They were delicious. I'm here to, I'm going to pull these out. Now, we had two different species. One of them was the blue clawed crayfish or crawfish, whatever you want to call it. And the second one I think is called the northern crayfish. I'm not sure. I know they weren't a rusty, but we'll pull these and see how we did this time. Uh, 
Okay, we got two in this one only, and this one had quite a few more yesterday, so... And that one is one of the brown ones again. And I think that one is too. Alright, I'll get this taken care of and we'll uh, go off to the next one. Well, here we are with trap number two. And this time we got none in this trap. It's amazing. It's like maybe we just trapped it out that fast. Maybe there just aren't that many here. It's hard to say. Well, get this one cleaned off and we'll drive down the road to the next one. Okay, now this one has nothing, and this one over here had only one in it yesterday, and I thought for sure moving it upstream a little bit, up the river, would work a little bit better, but this is just, this area just doesn't have that many right now. Okay, everyone, well, thanks a lot for tagging along for another crayfish in the north. What do we get? Total of 20, I believe. Not bad for this late in the season. It's fun. Maybe I'll get a chance to do it when we come up here deer hunting in a couple weeks and give it one more try. Thanks a lot for watching the Jones Act Survival Channel.